I once invented a language so I could speak to my sister in secret. I even gave this language its own name. <laughs> What's the name of the language? It uh, is not uh, a word <laughs> that you will have heard of, and the word is cushion. Cushion. What? Yeah. Cushion. So like, like cushion, but cushion. <laughs> yeah. Cushion. And could you say something in cushion? Yes. <laughs> Could you say something? <laughs> is that, is that what guess? yes is in Cushion? I didn't claim that the language was sophisticated. <laughs> I would say you're arbitrarily adding a sort of sh sound. So do a sentence. OK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ask a mensch... <laughs> ask a <am> sh... <laughs> um, it's obviously been a long time since I lost Cleam in Joyskin. The experience of what I lost to you. You sound like the chef on Sesame Street. If it's so simple, what did I say then? Yeah. You, said, you said I am loving, loving the experience, experience of what oh, I like. No, I didn't. I said I'm largely enjoying the experience of what I like to you. So uh, it looks like it's not a sheep or schedule. <laughs> <laughs> So, where, where did the name for this language, Cushion, come from? I, I honestly can't remember, but it was called uh, Cushion. And, and I can tell you, uh, part of the language, and I, I'm afraid I can't explain this to you, would be sometimes mid-sentence, sometimes at the end of a sentence, <laughs> just to loudly proclaim, Cushion! <laughs> cushion is talking with random sh if you can squeeze them in, yeah. and occasionally going, Cushion! <laughs> In, in the middle or at the end of a sentence. You know, my, and my parents... <laughs> my parents didn't... <laughs> they didn't work out, Cushing, as simplistic as you clearly think it is. They didn't work it out, so... They didn't work it out. When you no said, I... No I squanched to go to the shops, they went, oh, what well on earth is oh he saying? Oh, my God! Hang on, David. Speaking... Cushing! <laughs> So, David, he's been quite fulsome, a lot of detail, but is it the truth or is it a lie? What do you think? Well, I believed him up until the point where he went, Cushon! And then I... <laughs> and then I uh, he's enjoying Cushon yeah, far he's too much. Yeah. enjoying it. Uh, although he could be that. enjoying it with the fact that his yeah, sister is yeah. watching their secret language being but, outed. Yeah. She, won't, she won't dislike it. She'll be Ashkelushkelis delightedish. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I don't... And that... That, my friends, so far is the biggest cushion of them all! <laughs> um, it's not inconceivable, but it is unlikely. What do you think? Truth or lie? Lie. Lie, let's do lie. it. Lie. You're saying it's a lie? OK. Greg, truth or lie? Aishk, washk, telishk, the trushk. Oh! <laughs> cushion! I once saved P. Diddy's life. Uh, David. How? Well, hang on, before we get there, David. <laughs> P. Diddy. <laughs> Where does one begin? Um, a rapper, a singer, very popular, sells a lot of records. Right. So, how did you do it? Uh, he was drowning, and I, I saved him. I jumped in and I saved him. You were lucky he was drowning, cos you couldn't have saved him from drowning if he'd been choking. <laughs> what was he drowning <laughs> in? Water. <laughs> OK, where was this? Where was this? Uh, Saint-Tropez. Get you? <laughs> <laughs> you and P. Diddy in the sea in Saint-Tropez. So, yes, indeed. So were you, you were socialising with P. Diddy beforehand? You didn't just happen to come across him? Yeah, we were socialising. We were on the same boat together. Hang on a minute. Are you Welsh? <laughs> yes, I'm a Welsh person. Then I find this very hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So why were you on this boat? We have a mutual friend who owns a boat. What, you and P. Diddy? Yes. Derek Evans from Pontypee. <laughs> <laughs> Derek has been very close to Diddy for some years yeah. now. <laughs> when was this? Five years ago? Four or four, five years ago. Four or five years ago, all right. Why were you both in Saint-Tropez at the same time? It was Cannes at the time, and we just went there to party. And oh. she said one day, oh, P. Diddy is joining us tomorrow. And I was like, oh, cool. And why did you get invited? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm friends 
friends with the lady who owns the boat. So I'm not friends with P. Diddy, so... Did he come on his own, or did he have some of his entourage with him? He came with one giant bodyguard. And so they get on the boat, him and the bodyguard, Yeah. and then he goes for a swim, or does he fall off? Dave... Or was he pushed? <laughs> <laughs> we got pretty steaming that night when he got on the boat. It was a bit of a raucous party. The next morning, he was a bit hungover. I remember him saying, yo, I'm hungover. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> we all Did are. he think Get your name was Yo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, possibly. Uh, he was hungry, and I remember him eating a big bowl of pasta for lunch. Then he was like, I'm going to go for a dip. And he jumped into the ocean I off the boat. I said he couldn't swim. Well, this is... The... Okay, let me finish. Well, let me... Oh, sorry. As he dived, he went, Oh, I can't! No! <laughs> he dived into the ocean. Oh, I can't! I forgot! <laughs> I've done that. Haven't you done that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We've all done it. Oh. Whose team are you on? <laughs> so, was this wasn't a very high boat, then? No, oh, it was like a speed boat that was part of the bigger boat. We took the smaller boat to yeah. go out into the open ocean to swim. So you took him further from somewhere where he might be safe? I'm not his father. I'm not like P. Diddy. Can you swim? He just <laughs> jumped in. I think if I was socialising with a rap star, I mm. might not ask them whether or not they can swim before they go swimming. I oh, I would. Pro- you would? Yeah, cos if they jump in and they're suddenly they're drowning, they'll start... <laughs> <laughs> start shooting it up, you know. So you've got into a smaller boat. He jumps off the smaller boat. I didn't think much of it. I turn around to look how, how he's doing. I just glance at P. Diddy, you're going to look. And he, he's got his hands balled into fists and he's kind of doing this. That is, that is just a fatal error. Just hitting swimming. the water with, with clenched fists. And I thought he was it's like, like he's trying to around. destroy the sea. I couldn't work it out. Was like, I nemesis. <laughs> so I jumped in, I swam across to him, and I'm like, yeah, okay, calm down. He's like, help, help. And I grabbed him around his chest like this and kind of swam back to the boat and, you know, got him on the ladder and he said, uh, thanks. And I was like, you're, wel- <laughs> you're welcome, P. Diddy. That's all right. So what are you thinking, David? So this, this is the most ridiculous story I've ever heard. Well, I think that if P. Diddy... If he'd have done anything that stupid and you would have saved him, he'd have said to you, nobody ever hears about this, do you understand? The various rap stars whose lives I've saved, they've all sworn me to see them. <laughs> <laughs> So, David, truth or lie? Well, I think we think it's a lie. He's saying a lie. Steve Jones, P. Diddy, truth or lie? It is true. No! Yeah! Yeah. 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 I once had a holiday in a Frenchman's garage. <laughs> Can I check if this is a euphemism? <laughs> Seriously, how old were you, roughly? I don't mean go. Oh, 17. 38? 30. Oh, this is oh, quite recently. What happened? Yeah. So you're 38, right? Yeah. You're in France. Where, where was the garage? France. Whereabouts in France? <laughs> Northern France. Whereabouts in Northern France? <laughs> Brittany. In Britain. Okay. So you ended up in Brittany. Southern Brittany. Southern Brittany. Okay. And you the ended... northern end of Southern Britain. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> It's just, uh, just south of mid Brittany, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the town that you were in? The you in town, town where I stayed in the Frenchman's garage was. Van. You're in the van in the garage? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is this how how this mix-up happened? (laughs) I want a holiday in a van. (laughs) Rod, Rod, let me speak to you as another Welshman. Maybe he'll understand me. (laughs) Ask me a nice, specific question. Did you book a holiday in a Frenchman's garage? No, I once had a holiday. (laughs) When you arrived in the the village or town called Van... Yeah, Van, yeah. Did you already know you will be staying in a garage? No. Were all the hotels booked? No. We thought it looked nice in the brochure. Who did? Me and my partner. Partner? Girlfriend. Girlfriend? Now wife. <laughs> Blimey, that was a quick ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So you were going to Van. We you... went to we went to Van. Right. Went to a tourist information place to... Because you hadn't booked anywhere. We hadn't booked anywhere. I'm with you. Right. right. What happens at the tourist information place? They said, what about this place? And we said, that looks nice. Lovely. The house with a nice Good. pool Lovely. looked nice in the picture, yeah. so, we, so we went there. So you right. got there, when, but, and when you got there, it was a garage. <laughs> <laughs> I just, the I... house was nice, but we were in the garage. <laughs> was the garage decked out to look like a room, or was it just spanners and? It looked like a room with a canoe on the side and a fuse box. <laughs> 
Am I old before my time? But yes. At, at 38, <laughs> you don't go on a crazy, we're not going to book where we're going. At 38, you want to know where you're going. We've yeah. got this nice, I'm with comfy you, room. Yeah. You know, if it is true, you totally deserve what happened to you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't say I didn't enjoy it. So you liked the sort of... It was a deliberate rough No, it was a disaster. How long did you stay for in the garage? Two weeks. You stayed for two weeks? Two weeks. <laughs> How much did you pay? It was very reasonable. I'm not surprised! <laughs> did it have any windows in the garage? No. And you said there was a swimming pool? Yeah, they had a swimming pool. You were allowed to use it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't help thinking that what you're describing is more of a hostage scenario. <laughs> And what about Mrs Gilbert? She wasn't Mrs Gilbert then, but what, how did she react? Because she's looking at you, Rod, the tall, strapping, handsome Welshman, what everyone dreams of. <laughs> <laughs> and you whisked her there. Was yeah. there not a little part of her that, that, that died that day when she saw <laughs> what you expected her to She wasn't very with? well, if I remember rightly. Was <laughs> it carbon monoxide or exhaust fumes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lee, um, it's, it's a complex tale. Um, uh, what do your team think? Absolute lie. It is a lie? Absolutely. Really? Mm hmm Based on just the floundering? Absolutely everything. <laughs> like what? All right, it did have windows. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Hal? It's like he's throwing in things that seem so ridiculous. And no, but nobody would go and stay in a garage without windows. But I think they wouldn't. Have You're Kelly <laughs> Hoppen, though, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. He's Rod Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's it going to be, Lee? Truth or lie? Lie. Lie? Lie. Lie. I, I think it's true, but I'll go with my team and say it's a lie. You're going to say lie. OK, Rod. <laughs> Garage holiday in France. Truth garage or lie? holiday in the Frenchman's garage oh. in Van. True. Oh. Oh. I am absolutely repulsed by beards. <laughs> <laughs> when my friend grew a beard, I changed my phone number so he couldn't contact me. <laughs> right, there we are. Lee. What's his name? His name is Ben. Ben. And what, what did Ben do? Well, he used to be a child. <laughs> <laughs> then when he got older, he, he was a tree surgeon. Right. <laughs> so, what, what is it about beards that you find so repulsive? Well, it's just... <laughs> like, like, the idea of touching a beard is horrible, and it's, it can't be hygienic. I mean, there must be dirt well, in it. look to your left. I think you'd have to go a long way to find a better more respectfully kept beard than David Mitchell's. But David Mitchell can afford to have a beard cleaning person. <laughs> <laughs> the average beard person, just they don't even wash it, do they? It's all dirty, bits of egg in there and all sorts. <laughs> you would obviously never consider a beard yourself, then, obviously. No, oh, no, I... But on, on a windy day, surely those bits of hair around the side of your head are going to go over your face, cos that's quite long hair you've got there. But they're all lovely and soft. Well, Whereas when a beard is all scratchy and thick hair. I imagine David's beard isn't scratchy. I imagine David's beard <laughs> is comforting, <laughs> soft and welcoming. And I invite you now... <laughs> ..to enjoy <laughs> David's <laughs> beard. I mean, strictly speaking, it's not your invitation to give. <laughs> You would be doing a great service to Paul. No, I would be a trouble. I would be honoured were uh, Paul, Paul please. to fondle my face. Paul, not <laughs> say, leave it to me to invite him. Well, Go ahead if it would give you pleasure. It does not give me pleasure. That's the whole point. I hate it. But you know, <laughs> oh. he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing. If this yeah. is going to make you throw up, I... <laughs> we can both do without that footage on YouTube. <laughs> Did you tell your friend why you changed your number? I uh, know. Well, what happened is <laughs> he just... He used to have a smooth face and he grew... And it was a massive beard and it was all really long and yeah. really unkempt, you know, like, all long and... And then I just couldn't deal with it. And you've never seen or heard from him since? <laughs> well, I can't he, because he hasn't got my number. He can't contact me. When was this, Paul? How long ago? Uh, 2010. That's so. a lot. Oh, sorry, I think say years. <laughs> 2010 years after uh, the birth of Christ. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> 
I mean, you've picked a good example. If you saw an image of Jesus Christ, would you have problems looking at it because of the beard? Or does it have to be a friend that's well, in your personal space? I mean, Jesus isn't my friend in that way. <laughs> he is, I, Paul. Yes. <laughs> And he's yours, too. <laughs> but not yours, Lee. <laughs> All right, so what's it going to be, Lee? Is it true or is it a lie? What do we think? True. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Every word of it. <laughs> it's a lie. It's got to be a lie. You've done the opposite again. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you're saying it's a lie, you're saying it's true. true. I'm going to go for true. You're going to say it's true? Yeah. OK, Paul Foote. Was that true or was it a lie? It is true. Oh, 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 there is something about me that elephants like. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I visit a zoo, they thunder towards me <laughs> and point their trunks in my direction. <laughs> right, please, oh. team. When did you first notice? Elephants finding you so attractive. I don't think uh, elephants liked me before I hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> and do you believe that puberty was the triggering thing? Correlation is not causation. <laughs> oh, another one of your catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, they don't catch on, David. <laughs> <laughs> What's correlation? <laughs> oh, get it. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> OK. Where were you? When did you first notice it? I think it was probably at the Cotswold Safari Park. <laughs> right. I'd recently become a man. Yes. <laughs> uh, I was quite, a, quite an imposing figure striding around the Cotswold Wildlife Park. <laughs> Still intellectually juvenile. Yeah. Uh, and I was still interested in the animals. And then I was passing the elephant's enclosure and, it, you know, it, it swivelled its head towards me. <laughs> and it was quite alarming. And then it started to move slowly towards me. And then yeah. as it moved towards me, its trunk ro it straightened. <laughs> as, as if as if in arousal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Have you ever been on safari? No, I haven't, for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> How many zoological gardens stroke safari parks have you been to and observed this in elephants? At least nine or ten sort of times. You play you, right? I'll play the elephant. <laughs> right. Now, you... <laughs> if you'd like to walk towards me and I'll... No, you. You've got to spot me. Mm. It's not about what I do, it's about... <laughs> it's exactly like... Is that, is that how it happens? Yes. Well... Wow. There was something about being the elephant then. I believe it to be true. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Have you always been with the same people or different people to the safari park? I, I think it been mixed up enough to know it's you specifically. Yeah, yes. The only person who's always with me is my friend Kevin the bun seller. <laughs> Was he making that all up? What would you say? I don't believe it at all. <laughs> no. There's not even an ounce of truth in it. <laughs> no. I think we're going to have to say it's a lie. OK, so you say it's a lie. David, attracting elephants, truth or lie? Well, it is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I once caused a fire in a hotel while making pasta sauce for Bananarama. David's team, Banana Rama, I should say, David, are a popular pop group <laughs> uh, from the 1980s all girl three piece band. Yeah, right. I should point out girls are. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the key question here, Bruno, is, yeah. is why were you making pasta sauce in a hotel for Banana Rama? Because I'm Italian and, you know, people like my pasta. Who's your favourite member of Banana Rama? Uh, they're all my favourite, they're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> if he's lying, he's good. <laughs> one of them is married to Andrew Ridgely. What? Really? Wasn't one of them married to the yeah. Eurythmics bloke? Yeah. Dave yeah. Stewart. Yes. Yes. No, Dave you're Stewart. Thinking yeah. of, um... That's Annie Lennox. No, no. No, no Annie no, Lennox no. wasn't in <laughs> Banana Rama. <laughs> so difficult working with such music experts. Music. <laughs> <laughs> 
back, anyway, back, back to the story. To... When okay. was this? When was it? Uh, it was in the 80s. The 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> right. But wait a minute, you were just... You, I you was were hotel, very young. I, were you very I was like extremely 80s? young. I was practically a fetus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and why were you with Banana Ron? I was, uh, I was uh, shooting a video. I was shooting a video. You, you, you were directing it? What were you Choreographing doing? a video. You choreographing. were choreographing the vi the b a Bananarama video. Yeah. yeah. I right. have to say, oh, having I... seen yeah. Bananarama videos, I don't think there's <laughs> an over-reliance on choreography. <laughs> <laughs> you're pointing your hand like this. You go like that. <laughs> you go up in the air. You come down. <laughs> you go to that side. <laughs> it's a wonderful story. I love it. Now, where is the kitchen and my saucepan? <laughs> So anyway, I was working with a lot of <laughs> pop groups at the time. Mm -hmm. Bananarama was one of my clients, and I was in Los Angeles shooting a video. And after we finished filming, I went to the hotel. They asked me to cook a pasta for them. Is so I was. Cook is cooking dinner at the end of the day part of the choreographer's job description? Because <laughs> some hotels, I believe, at the sort of at the very top end, will actually provide a food-making service <laughs> for you. And in fact, I've heard it's even frowned upon if you attempt to cook your own meal ah. on the premises. Ah. But there are some hotels, and rock and roll hotels, yeah. which actually have villas, so you don't go through the what everybody goes through. So how did the fire? You say there was a conflict. Well, uh, the, the, what happened is that I kind of started uh, this tomato sauce, mm. and I said. Uh, to Sarah, I need to get some extra ingredients, so you just yeah. watch the onions. Yeah, I know. Make sure that once they become golden, yeah. you remove the pan from the stove and wait for me to come back to finish. Very clear instructions. Very clear, very it's clear. very simple. An idiot could follow uh, those yeah, instructions. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> after a day of trying to choreograph banana yeah, rama, you knew they that. couldn't follow any instructions. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I come back and there is like, Fire ranging, smoke everywhere. What the hell is going on here? Basically, she washed her hair and the kitchen was on fire. Everything was black. I mean, the whole thing was a terrible disaster. Oh. Was banana armor all right? Yeah. <laughs> Who and cares? Pasta. My pasta was ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Did the fire brigade come? Yes. Was that nice? Yeah. Was it nice, did you say, Rob? Was it nice? Very odd question. <laughs> yeah, was it nice? Yes. How was the fire engine? Uh, was it nice? <laughs> was it nice? <laughs> but they are nice, because in America, they're always very nice. How are you doing, sir? Yeah. Is this your villa? Is it burned down to the yeah. ground? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Good job. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're, they're lovely. I love it. Good job. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yes. <laughs> you know, they're so nice. Everything in America is lovely. It's good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Um, okay. David, what are you thinking? What do you think? I'm thinking it's a lie. Really? Yeah. I think he's kind of telling the truth because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I think we're going to say true. I think it's true. OK. Bruno Tognoli, was it true or was it a lie? It was the truth. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the first time Westlife sang on Top of the Pops, Louis Walsh made sure we stood up from our stools at the right time by hiding in the crowd and waving a banana above his head. <laughs> Please, team. What song were you singing? It was our first number one. Which was? Swear It Again. Swear It Again. Swear It Again. I, I know it. I'm just... I'm just... <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> so you're on a stool. I'm imagining you're on a stool, so you're doing a ballad. Yes. Thanks. All, all so... the Westlife songs are ballads, Lee. Why did he not say to you... When you get to a key word in the song, all stand up. Why can he not trust you to but do don't, that? But don't you know that songs are extremely repetitive? Oh, I know yours are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. They I'm sorry. Make some work. I'm joking. They I'm were, joking. They, I'm were, a, they were moving. I know, I'm they a massive Westlife. I'm not in any way saying I wasn't. I'm simply saying, why couldn't you stand up at the key word to the song? Why couldn't he say to you, oh, I see what you mean, because you're saying the same words over yeah. and over again. It's like there's a certain point that he wanted us to do it, but, like, I think the problem when it was for us is, like, well, you know, you're so nervous, you're on top of the pops for the first time, and we were number one. In top, in top of the pops world, yeah. I remember they always had really trendy people dancing to make the whole thing look sort of cool. Yeah. Did Louis look... Was he dressed trendily? Did he fit in with the audience? Was he, he dancing? He was, he was, like, behind the camera. He was behind. You know, he, he wouldn't be in front of the was, camera he waving he a banana, well, he was, would well, he? <laughs> I thought he was in front of the camera waving a banana. No, 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 I'm no, sorry. no. He wasn't because doing that, that. Because he wasn't, he'd never if do everyone that. can see the cue, you might as well shout, Get off your stool! <laughs> that would do the same thing. 
But how did he cover it in case you were looking in the camera rather than looking be behind the camera? No, you can see a banana. You'd see a banana. Yeah, that, it... Look out to the back of the crowd there, Bob. Yeah, yeah. If someone was to hold up a banana, do you think you'd see it? Mark, oh, there, there we it. are. Somebody is. Somebody is doing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why don't we try and recreate the moment? I agree. Okay? Oh, so yeah. here's what would happen. The sing, three of you sing. would go out front. Not yet. Oh, out I front. Can, and you'd lean. I'm not wearing any trousers. <laughs> and you'd lean on the desk. And when I wave my banana in the air, yeah. you three will stand up together. <laughs> Yay. One for you. Thank you. Yay. 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 One for you. Enjoy it, David. Round to the front. Come on, lads. I think I should be in the middle. Oh, you oh, yeah, no, the by all means. Oh, right. Please, I, I will cede the Love captaincy me. for the... I did um... spend 14 years on the yeah. side, you know, at least I should yeah. be in the middle now. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to wave the banana? I tell you what, the girl who's got the banana <laughs> can wave the banana. OK, so here they are, a newly formed Westlife with... You raise me up. <laughs> Watch out for the banana. Ah, uh, yeah, I am doing. You raise me Please, what are you thinking? Was it true? I, Did you Louis know what? Do that? You know what you think? I'm not sure. We need to see it again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe we don't have the time. Okay. What's it going to be? Truth well, or lie? Bob, what do you think? Well, when I recorded my first shows I did on telly, my camera had a banana on it, so I knew what, so that I knew what camera to look at. So I'm thinking maybe. Do you think it might be true? true? Mel? I think it's a lie. Okay, it's going to be a lie. You're going to say lie. Lie. I'm worried okay. now. Pressure. Kian. Pressure. Truth or lie? It was, in fact, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I find nothing more relaxing than making scented candles. <laughs> Please, team, what do you think? How long have you been doing this for? I've been doing this for about... <laughs> about 20, 20, 24 seconds? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for about two years. What started you off? What happened two years ago that you were so stressed this is what you took to? Uh, I had a, f a friend of mine from Birmingham was working in London during the week and he came and he, he said, oh, I'll be making candles. <laughs> and I went, oh, yeah, your regular brummy started <laughs> <laughs> He said, oh, I'm yeah, yeah, I've just been making the candles. Yeah. It was something like that, actually. Yeah. He said there was a little shop near me in West London where you can get all the candle-making stuff, and he told me how to do it, and that sounds relatively simple. I've never been able to do anything practical, anything arty or crafty. I thought, perhaps this is the one poxy little thing I could do. Yeah. I've genuinely never... How do you make a candle? What, do you, what does it what, come in? The, what the... Shall I tell him? Do you know? Yes. Do me a favour. <laughs> don't, don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> what you do is this. You get, so you get a glass, say, any, any glass, yeah. and then you melt your wax. And obviously it's come solid, you melt it very gently in a saucepan. So yeah. Where do you buy wax? Liquid. Where From a candle-making shop. From a candle well, I've shop. never seen any candle-making no, shop. Neither had I. <laughs> neither had I. And I live oh, I half I've a mile one. There's it. one just down the road, just near the butchers and the bakers. I've seen one of those. That's the candlestick maker. That's it for us. Obviously. They make candlesticks. What's the difference between a candlestick and a candle? You know, I mean, a candle. <laughs> a candlestick isn't something you. That's not a candle. Oh, uh, you know. That's a candle. It's a candle holder. A candlestick. A candlestick. A candlestick is the thing you put the candle, candle in. No, no, no. Yes, yes, a yes. Candlestick yes. is a stick shake candle. No, it's not. Yeah. I've it's always it. assumed that the candlestick maker was basically just the candle maker, but they put the stick in for scansion. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think the candlestick refers to the stick. I th what? So you think that's the man? That's not the man that makes the butcher for everyday meat, baker everyday bread, and the candlestick maker for not the candles. You have to go out of town to get them, but for the things you put the, can the receptacles. The opposite for the candles. I'm saying he makes the candles that are in the shape of a stick. Oh, I'm with He's you. He's saying yes, I'm... The, the candlestick the refers to the candelabra, the actual thing that you put a the candle candle in. Candelabra is separate to a candlestick. What is a candlestick? A candlestick is a single stick you. Put 
put a candle in. <laughs> With all that or say, let's refer to the expert. June, <laughs> is a candlestick the candle or the thing you put the candle I'm in? I'm afraid it's the thing you put the candle the in. The Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Get me Barbara Windsor! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Adrian, you were saying. Yes. So you melt the wax and then you basically stick your wick. <laughs> in the, in the Look, you stick your wick at the bottom of the jar and then the wick sticks up. You might have to just hold the end of it just to keep it stiff. <laughs> then, <laughs> then. I'm not making this up, honestly. Then, right, you've got your wax and you've put your scent and your colour in the wax by this time. And so, and then you just pour it into the cup and just to as high as you want it, and then you let go and the wick stays where it is then, and then you just got to let it cool down. Right, now now we know the process. June, okay. is that how you make a candle? I don't know. I do! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go with this as being the truth just because he explained it, because if, if it's a lie, I reckon he could have pretty much worked out you melt the wax, add a bit of string, and it goes hard. No, I mean, but all those things like holding it, it and knowing to... He, those things, that. how would Adrian Child know that otherwise? He did like... used to present the one show. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got a fascinating feature on the candles. <laughs> So what do you think, truth or lie? Um, what do we so? I think truth. You think it's true? Yeah, I think true. I don't think so. I think it's a lie. But don't take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with oh, whatever you say. Oh, don't do I'm not putting any pressure on you. Big, no, well, whatever you say, I, I will say. Just go one, two, three and say something. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, one, you're, true, you're saying true. True, three, true. 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 I've True. Never been, I've never been very good with timing, sorry. No, it's always a lie, but never mind. What? <laughs> I was about to say true. Yeah, I was true. about to say true. Okay. We're going to go with lie. I oh. trust you. You're going to say lie. OK. Adrian Childs, candle maker. Truth or lie? It is... True. I oh. knew it! <laughs> <laughs>